know what's happening everyone hope you're having a fantastic day and a fantastic week here we are 2023 thanksgiving where did the year go it's thanksgiving week and wanted to just hop on and talk about thanksgiving and just being grateful and thankful you know thanksgiving is not just a moment on the calendar but it is a state of mind it is a lifestyle it is something that we should live in every day of our lives but it is a memorial day it is a day that we celebrate as a nation and get together with family and we break bread talk about the things that we're grateful for and thankful for so i wanted to challenge you today it doesn't matter how great you've had it in your life or how bad you would say you have it in your life right now there is something to be grateful for you know a lot of times when things are not going so well it's hard to lose sight of the things that we are grateful for the things that are going well in our lives whether it's our health or whether it's our family you know this year it's been a, a whirlwind for me um, lots of uh, huge family events my daughter going to school my other daughter getting married buying a house she's expecting I'm gonna be a granddad going into 2024 so there's a, a ton to be grateful for right Obviously, the economy's not doing fantastic right now. There's a lot of things that are that are swirling around. You watch the news, you're looking at the elections, you're looking at all the things that are going on. And there's a lot that you could really wrap your mind around and say, you know what, this isn't going very well, but there's always something that we can be grateful for and thankful for. And so I wanna challenge you to really dig deep in this Thanksgiving season and look back over 2023 what are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? What are some of the things that really bring a smile to your face when you think about what's going on and what's happening in your life? And, you know, at the end of the day, if you've got a roof over your head, you got a meal that you're eating, you got clothes on your back, you've got family around you that you can hug their necks. You may not have a ton of money in the bank. You may not have the nicest car or the nicest house. But at the end of the day, to me, those are just status symbols. And none of that even matters at the end of the day, because when we get to the end of our lives, we're not going to look back and go, man, you know, our legacy was we owned all this stuff. You know, really, our legacy should be what type of impact do we have in the world? What kind of rippling effect did we have in that next generation or the people around us, our friends or family or whatever the case may be? And literally having what I would call a purpose, you know, just showing up every day and having an impact somehow, some way in somebody else's life, whether it's just being a friend, whether it's just being there to listen, whatever that may be. But don't always look at the things you have or don't have to determine something that you should be grateful or thankful for. You know, at the end of the day, again, if you have breath in your body, you know, as I've always said, man, when you wake up uh, with one more day, that's something to be thankful for because there's many people in the world that wake up today, many people in the world that are no longer living on this planet. And so you have something to be grateful and to thankful for. So as we approach this Thanksgiving season, as you sit around a table with your family, eating great food and having great fellowship. I just want you to take some time, whether you do it silently or whether you do it public, it doesn't matter, but just voice your thanksgiving to your family or be thankful inside of your heart and know that there are many, many things that we can be grateful for. And, and it's as simple as, you know, hey, I've got my eyesight, I've got a clothes on my back, I've got a great family. I've got food on the table. I have a great IQ. I get through school. I do have good grades. I've got a great relationships with people at my work. I have a great career or I'm in school and I'm really excited about the next phase in my life. So much around our lives, so much bad news going on, but gratitude and Thanksgiving can bring us back down to a level of just loving life, loving what's going on in our lives. And gratitude creates a vacuum for more when you begin to be grateful for those things. And so I just wanted to encourage you today. I want to wish you from my family to your family, from the Kaysen family to you, whether you've been a client of mine, whether you have been a real estate agent I've worked with, a builder, financial planner, an attorney, uh, whether it's uh, a client's friends and family of clients, whether you're a friend that we've crossed paths over the years, I wanna wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have the best day or the best Thanksgiving you've ever had. Show up with anticipation, show up to be grateful and thankful and hug your family's necks and kiss your babies and just be grateful 
for life. And let this be a, just a joyful Thanksgiving for you and your family. Remember, life is too short to, to allow schisms and divisions. I mean, I know there's families that don't even speak to each other anymore. Let this be a time of reconciliation. Let this be a time where you reconnect with those folks and tell them that you love them and that we don't let silly things come between us because most of that stuff is extremely silly. And, and just let them know that you're grateful for them, that you're thankful for them. Having a journal helps you with gratitude. Waking up every morning may be part of a morning routine that we talked about a couple weeks ago where you write down three things that you're grateful for. Getting in a state of gratitude sets you up and really brings joy into your life and it allows you to track things in your life as well. And so anyhow, I hope that's been helpful to you. Again, wanna wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving from my family to yours. And I hope it's one of the best that you've ever had. And until next time, bye for now.